Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, January 21st to the 22nd, Intuitive Love Tarot Reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Okay, please note that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. All right, Cappies. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. And that sort of flew out. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple cards here, and then I am going to get a message from Spirits. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Wow. Okay, you have the Devil card. You show up in your own reading, Capricorn. The Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Let me get a message from Spirit, and then we'll continue. Learning new ways of doing things is what you need right now to hmm, sort of give you um, a new perspective. Spirit's wanting you to have a new perspective on how you do things. And I'm feeling this is like just daily things. So switch it up, do things differently. Because there's something that they want, there's a message that they want to give you. And it's, what I'm feeling is like if you swift switch your perspective, it's opening up something that will allow this message to come through. If that makes sense. <sighs> okay. They said, love is what makes the world go round, and it will come around to you. So if some of you have been wondering, uh, where is my love? Where is, you know, stop looking for it, number one. Uh, but number two, spirits, you know, letting you know that, yes, it will come around to you. It always does. It's just a matter of you actually recognizing it, they're saying. Oh, okay. And this is the other reason why they want you to switch up your um, routine. Because this is part of the message. It's like it's going to open up an area where, and, and I'm feeling it's in your brain. It open up an area in your brain which will then allow you to recognize the possibilities of love out there or love when it's when it's coming into your life okay let's see what's going on here you're all up in your head about a betrayal a backstabbing somebody stabbed you in the back you're in this prison of your own making Well, wait a minute. Okay, this could have been like past energy for some of you. They're saying, yeah. Because I'm feeling a letting go of this Ten of Swords. You also have victory here, right? With this Six of Wands. Hmm. It could have been victory over temptation because the Devil card, your card, Capricorn, is uh, a very... It's a card that talks about temptations and addictions and unhealthy relationships, toxicity, right? So let's see if we can break this down, Capricorn. All right, I want to know, why is the Ten of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Ten of Swords here? What's going on? Oops. I'll take the one that's flipped over. 
Ten of Wands. Yeah. It's like this heavy responsibility also. You feel, or you felt, very much weighed down and out of balance here with the Six of Pentacles. The Emperor is here. Yeah, this is past energy for most of you. Some of you could be going through this currently, this letting go, um, letting go of this, of burdens, of responsibilities, of just feeling stuck and unbalanced. You're trying to embody this Emperor um, energy and figure out where you want to go and go forward with that knowing and that's why the six of wands is here but tell me about this devil card hmm nine of wands and the three of swords huh you're guarded you're the wounded warrior, right? That's the nine of uh, wands. That's also Sagittarius energy. So you could have some Sagittarius in your chart, but it's all because of a broken heart. Somebody broke your heart. I do feel for some of you, you overcame an addiction. It could have been alcohol, over drinking because of this. Could have been drugs, um, could have been sex, could have been, could have been any addiction. I feel like you, you know, you found recent victory over that, control over that. Okay, so what are you all up in your head about? Why is this Eight of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, some of you, yeah, you want to head somewhere, and I was feeling it with the emperor. You want to go in a particular direction, right? You're taking your time. You are an earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck. Man, that's funny. This is knowing what you want, being passionate about what or who you want. I feel this is a person with the Queen of Wands here. I mean, this Queen of Wands is your energy, but it's fighting with this Eight of Swords energy and this mental mindfuckery you have yourself in. This sort of recording that's going over and over in your head. But you know you can set yourself free from this. So I think you're, you're sitting there wondering, should I take it slow? Should I move fast? You're going back and forth. So what's your advice for this? Yeah, Two of Cups. This is uh, Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. And this is Six of Swords. Your advice is go. That's the journey card, right? Six of Swords. So I feel wherever you're at, you're feeling this Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. That's where you're, you're out of balance. Balance is a message for everybody these past couple days. Okay. So, what's your advice for Capricorn? What's your advice for Capricorn? Overall, strength card. Have the courage and the strength to do what you know you want to do. What other advice is there? That is the Leo card. You have a couple of Leo cards here. Eight of Pentacles. Decide where you want to put your energy, Capricorn. The Eight of Pentacles is all about work. Okay, and wherever you put your energy, um, focus intently on it. Temperance and the Five of Swords. You gotta drop these swords. That's anger and jealousy. Okay. The Temperance card here. Another Sagittarius card. You could have Sagittarius in your charts, but this is saying be patient. Be patient with yourself as well, because change is coming, and you know it and you feel it. That's why you're all up in your head about what to do about this soulmate connection here with this two of cups okay one more overall advice for Capricorn one more overall advice for Capricorn one more page of cups that's an apology 
So apologize to yourself for not being patient with yourself, I'm feeling, but possibly apologize to wherever you're going to, whoever you're going to. Perhaps an apology is in order. That's what I'm hearing from spirits. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fabulous day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.